It's it, man. How you guys doing today? Today, we're going to open up some more Optic Football. We've already done some hobby. We've done retail. And now, this is H2. Welcome back, everybody. Hobby, we've already opened on the channel. We've opened first off the line and regular hobby box. We've opened retail blasters. Megas are on the way. This is H2. H2 is kind of the in-between hobby and the retail blasters and megas. This box is going for about 500 to 550, I believe, which is a little bit high. I, I know last year's they were right around 300 to 350 when they first came out, and then the price is obviously increased by now. This is just starting out at like $500 for the box. So Optic Hobby Boxes is already up to like $1,300, $1,400. Is because the price of hobby is hiked, so naturally this is gonna hike too. This is kind of the in-between box. If you if you don't want to buy a hobby box and retail doesn't have the big hits like you want, well, H2 is your go-to. Is it worth the value though? We'll find out. I'll let you know my thoughts at the end of the video. But let's go ahead and rip into it. Let's take a look at the box. This is 2021 Optic H2. It's gonna come with four cards per pack and eight packs per box, so a total of 32 cards. You're gonna look for the ultra rare downtown inserts. You're gonna find four H2 exclusive rated rookies red mojo parallels. Your red mojos will be rated rookies guaranteed, so that's pretty nice. And you're gonna look for on card rated rookie RPS autographs and more. Let's take a look at the back. Same optic set, 300 cards, 200 base, 100 rated rookies. You can actually pull all the same colors or most of the same colors. I'm seeing basically you can even pull gold vinyls from this and everything. The only different parallel would be the red mojos and, and you're actually guaranteed four rookies in that. Same inserts it looks like including downtowns. The only thing I did notice is you cannot pull the downtowns in the black Pandora or gold or gold vinyl. So if you pull a downtown it will be a base downtown which I mean, I kind of like that. That keeps the, the exclusive uh, downtowns to hobby. So, all right, here we go. $500 is, is like a low-end <laughs> hobby box, basically. And this is H2. You're only going to get 32 cards. I believe you may get more cards in the Megas. So, not sure. You're going to have to hit big in this to, to make, your, uh, make your money back. Take a look. Uh, there it is, Lamar Jackson. Our rated rookie is going to be Chas Surratt. And here's our first mojo, red mojo. That's a Antoine Winfield on the Rising Suns, one of the inserts. So the red mojos are four rated rookies. So you, at least that's that's that in the red mojo. It's going to be a rated rookie. They're, they shouldn't be numbered, from what I remember. Uh, it is a rated rookie of... For the Vikings, Kine Wangwu. So... Just like last year, not numbered, its own special parallel coming from H2. So, Wang Wu on our first one. Next pack. We have another one coming up. Ooh, and we have a My House. That's going to be Matthew Stafford, Greg Newsom. The My House is going to be Justin Fields, My House. There we go. And uh, stay tuned for the end of the video. I will give away a couple of the hits that we pull from here. And here's the red mojo. That'll be for the Falcons, Frank Darby. Wrong Falcon there. I'm looking for Pitts. Frank Darby. Pitts would have looked real good. Team color right there on the red mojo. Let me see uh, Let me see if we can pull any other colors from here. I mean, obviously the red mojos are the only one that's guaranteed. Another color would be bonus. Uh, and we... Right on cue, we do pull a red, it looks like, behind there. Pete Warner, uh, Wong Wu. So I did get two rookies that pack. Let's take a look at who the red is. And that's going to be a vet, though. And that is going to be Russell Wilson for the red. Not a bad card to 99. 90 of 99. Same uh, red that you can pull in Hobby on the rest. Next pack. Miles Garrett, Frank Darby again. Ooh, Red Mojo is Quiddy Pay for the uh, Colts and the gifted rookies of uh, T Law right there. Ah, that is already three rated rookie 
red mojo so we're down to one and we'll see how many other colors we got so far just one other color which is the red also there's jake Plummer, uh ramondra stevenson chris evans and our hollow ready to rookie is for the falcons there's the guy for the falcons you want kyle pitts star tight end for the falcons that is that is the decent one all right three packs left pull a downtown mikey williams uh there's a mac jones base we have a quitty pay and our hollow is gonna be joey b i mean i think i'm hitting okay uh centering on that not delicious <laughs> not delicious at all on that joey b but that is a second year joe burrow hollow there's a mac jones base rookie all right two packs left Brandon Cooks, Elijah Vera Tucker. We have a Josh Palmer on the uh, Gridiron Kings there. And our last Mojo Red, Red Mojo Red Rookie is going to be Patriots. Well, I'm gonna say my box is a big W there. Mac Jones on the Red Mojo Red Rookie. Unfortunately, centering not delicious, but still a sick card. Especially color match right there, the Pat's secondary color on the Mac. So I mean, my box, my box, is definitely a, a W so far. Uh, of course, this box came out today, just released, so gonna be no comps for any of that. Um, all right, last pack. We have a Davis Mills as well. Uh, Osai and last one is a retro series of Montana that does it for the box we'll do a little recap on the box and I'll pick out a couple cards to give away to the comment section all right here's the recap we did pull a Davis Mills and Mac Jones base rookies we pulled the Justin Fields my house we did pull one color uh, one number card besides the red mojos which was uh, also red with the Russell Wilson that was numbered we did pull a couple of hollows um, Joey B and Kyle Pitts Nice Kyle Pitts there. Our Red Mojo rookies were Quiddy Pay, Frank Darby, Wong Wu, and of course the Mac Jones. So uh, overall, my box was good. It was on the the better end of boxes. I mean, I got one of the star QBs and a Red Mojo. You're definitely gonna have to do that to recoup most of your money back from the box. I think this should be priced more around $300, kind of like it was last year. Then it would be a decent buy. I think at $500, it's a little overpriced, but. With the price of Hobby hiking up to $1,400, naturally these are going to hike too. At least you can still hit downtowns from this also. So is it a must buy? No. Is it a good alternative to Hobby? Sure. It's a little expensive alternative to Hobby, but Hobby's so expensive that this may be some people's only choice at $500. So that is it. Let me pick out a couple cards for you guys. Here we go. How about one of these three right here? Um, you know what? I'll pick two winners from this video from the comment section, and you guys can pick uh, which card you want. The first winner I pick will have first choice, obviously, but here's the Justin Fields My House, the uh, Davis Mills base rookie, and the Mac Jones base rookie right there. Uh, all you have to do to be entered in the giveaway is make sure you like this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, and comment below. Let me know what you think of Optic H2 and which one of these cards you guys want. That is it. I'll pick. I'll do a random comment picker in one of my upcoming videos. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll check you guys out next time.